trying to scroll down until I see something like sub 200. What? Alibaba, high leg monokini for 170. Not as good of a, oh my. Look at this. I come to Facebook looking for graphics cards and they want to throw these advertisements of unrelated booty pictures in my face. If I gave you a different card, as well as this one, okay. for free. Graphics cards are getting really cheap right now. And I've seen some people in tech news outlets report on social media that they keep expecting them to come down in price. But if you're looking to build a gaming PC right now and you don't want to wait any longer because you've already waited through like the entire pandemic, uh, I'd say now is a really good time to buy without the risk of feeling buyer's remorse or that you're getting ripped off. I'm actually in the market for a graphics card right now at around the like $150 to $200 price point. It's been a while since I've done a Craigslist ride along style video, so I figured why not do one for a graphics card given how much they've decreased in price recently. Plus, I'm in need of one for a new build that I'm planning soon. So I'm gonna be looking in my local market using both Facebook and OfferUp. I haven't actually bought anything on Craigslist for a really long time, so uh, I, I don't bother looking at Craigslist anymore. There's just not many deals to be had there. The way that the filtering works and just searching for stuff and the quality of stuff that people post is usually not as good as Facebook or OfferUp. And there's no like rep system and you have to deal with emails. Yeah, I think I'm done with Craigslist moving forward. So let's take a look at OfferUp first. So I'm gonna set this to local only because I don't wanna have to deal with any shipping because when you buy anything on Facebook or OfferUp and the person has to ship to you, you have to use the payment system and have to pay tax and sometimes shipping too. Whereas if it's local, I can just pick it up and not have to deal with any of that and save a little bit more money. So for for the $150 to $200 price point, uh, pretty much that's going to be on NVIDIA side like a GTX 1070 or a GTX 1660 or 1660 Ti or 1660 Super. And on AMD side, there's really not much. Like the RX 500 series only went up to like the 590, uh, which isn't as powerful. Vega 56, which is going to be similar performing, but... I mean, I haven't really given the Vega cards much thought just because they were never that popular in the used market or they never really went for big discounts like the RX 580 and the 480 did. But we'll, we'll just take a look and see what we have here. So I'll start off with the GTX 1070 and see what we have going on here for local deals. So this first one is in Seattle, posted 18 days ago, a GTX 1070 uh, from EBJ Super Clock. Multiple sales, five star rating, uh, member for at least a couple of years. Uh, this is south of Capitol Hill. Um, so th this actually isn't bad considering a 1070 you can pretty much play anything at 1080p with no issues aside from Cyberpunk. Okay, 175, we'll use that as like a reference price. Um, we got 160 here, posted two months ago. This person has plenty of sales. Um, two available. Oh, we have a super clocked and a for the win edition. So this is located in Seattle as well. So I'm gonna have to drive a little bit for it, probably like 25, 30 minutes. Um, but 160 each or 300 for both, making them each 150. And I can either sell one or just use both of them in different builds. At 150, I think that's a really good price. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this one, but let's keep going down and seeing what else we have. 200 for a gigabyte version. This one is three months ago, 190 for a founder's edition. I like these ones. Um, I mean, performance wise, they're not the most ideal blower style, uh, but these look so sick. And this is the Gigabyte Founders Edition model. So um, this is three months old. Bothell, Washington is actually really close to me. That'd only be like maybe a 10 minute drive. This person has lots of sales, been around since before the pandemic uh, and five stars. So had this card since new, no longer needed. Since new, wow. So they've had this for a while. Let me know, we'll add more pictures, no, mis no visible wear. Open to offers, local pickup is better, but they can ship. I'm almost willing to, if I can get this down to 150, I would rather take this over a uh, 160, 1070 here. I mean, I guess I could get these two for 150, but Seattle would be a further drive for me. And the Founders Edition card just looks cooler in my opinion. So for 150, I would choose this one in Bothell 
uh, over the Seattle ones. This is all we have for these graphics cards. So let's take a look at the 1660s. And just by putting GTX 1660, it should pop up for everything like TI, Supers, Nons. So we have a 1660 Super 16 days ago. Oh my goodness, in Bremerton though. Bremerton is on the other side of the water. So I'm either taking a ferry across or going down and around. Yeah, Bremerton's a bit far. We have a 1660 regular. Um, this is a one fan card. It looks like it's from an HP pre-built. So this is not ideal, but I mean, uh, we'll see what else we can find. But that's pretty much it for the GTX 1660s. Not many people are selling them for the price range I'm looking for. Let's take a look at what like Vega 56 cards are going for, if there are any. Two cards. We got $300 card. Oof, way too expensive. And then we have a $800, seriously? This was five months ago, so even th even then, this is a horrible deal. All right, so yeah, there's nothing in terms of AMD side in that that price range. I guess I can look at RX 590. There's one card for going for $350. Also posted three months ago in SeaTac. I don't think this is worth it at all. So yeah, not much going on on offer up side in terms of AMD. Uh, quite a bit of Nvidia cards. Uh, but let's take a look at Facebook Marketplace and see what's up. $200 Founders Edition one. Yeah, so Facebook Marketplace prices aren't looking as good as OfferUp. Most of this stuff is 200, 200 plus. I'm trying to scroll down till I see something like sub 200. What? Alibaba, high leg monokini these ads i mean at least the offer of ads seem somewhat related like come on facebook marketplace oh 1070 for 150 public meetup door drop off okay this was when was this posted does it say oh my goodness these these ads like come on uh but scrolling down further i'm not really seeing too much else though yeah facebook marketplace not as good as offer up for me anyways on the local we do have a 170 dollars this is a gigabyte 1660 super for 170 only used for light gaming this is in queen anne so a little bit of a drive a lot of people still listing these for 300 dollars when they're not worth that much 1660 ventus card so this is non-super non-ti for 170 not as good of a oh my look at this I come to Facebook looking for graphics cards and they want to throw these advertisements of unrelated booty pictures in my face. I don't, what is this for? As we go down from Holy, I don't even know what that is. Is that like some online marketplace? Got some more like lingerie, leotards. Like what is this? Uh, but scrolling down, we're not seeing too much else. Oh my, Facebook is so much worse with ads. All right, so Facebook has nothing. We're gonna go back to offer up and we're gonna send some messages out. I think the card that I'm most interested in right now is this uh, 1070 Founders Edition, just because I've never had a 1000 series uh, Founders Edition cards like in my hands. I never used it in a build, I never bought one. I feel like asking for 150 isn't a low ball considering what they're going for uh in like you know the other ads there are many that have a better cooler than this one so i think offering 150 shouldn't be like an insult i'm gonna make an offer this is three months ago so i don't even know hi is it still available and if so would you be willing to take 150 for it let me know thanks so yeah it's gonna either be this founders edition card if i can get it for 150 or i think these ones i'm just gonna ask this person uh, if these are available. Hey, we already got a message back from the Founders Edition person, but uh, let's ask this person if these are available using the generic messaging. And let's take a look at our messages. I would do 150 if you picked up from me in Bothell. Awesome. So this person, uh, they're listed in Redmond on their ad, but uh, yeah, Bothell is really close to me. Um, I think I'm just going to take this now. Like I sent this other message to this person, but seems like this is pretty easy to find for around $150, but it's not easy to find the Founders Edition models because if you look here, like there's only one, there's a bunch of other ones, but the Founders Editions, I have not seen as many of. So uh, I might have to jump the gun on this one and just go for it. 
All right, now we need to determine a meet time. So I will figure that out with them and then check back in with you all when, uh, yeah, that gets figured out and I go pick it up, I guess. So it's the next morning now. Time to go meet up the seller and pick up the graphics card. Griffin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. Okay, so I have this rig set up and everything. So there I was gonna are. pop it in and yeah, run a quick benchmark. Let's see what the rig's got. Oh, this is uh, <laughs> this is like just a low end rig, the first, like the most portable, quick thing I could uh, grab. Oh no, totally y fine. Yeah, I, yeah. I got my, my fair share of extra setups too. So you said this was your original card? This is yeah, I, I got it new. This is my first like actual gaming card. Okay. So I used I used it for a long time. Then, so what are you gonna use it for? Um, so I'm gonna use it to build like a four hundred ish dollar system. I think four fifty oh, yeah. actually. Yeah. All right. So I have. Let's what do you see. usually test with? Uh, I'm just gonna use Superposition. This is a free software. You just wanna make sure it doesn't crash. Yeah, basically, <laughs> this is gonna load it up to uh, so 1080p extreme. Yeah, this is gonna basically load it up to like 100%. And I'll let it run for like a minute or two. So you making this for yourself or for, for a friend or something? So I'm, I'm actually a YouTuber. Okay. So I'm making yeah. like a build guide using this card. And then afterwards, um, either sell it or uh, give it away to family or friends or- Yeah, exactly. Um, That's always fun. I like giving away systems. I actually gave away a system like under a year ago to a friend who literally like didn't have a computer mm -hmm. at all. And I was like, bro, you don't have a computer? I, yeah, just, yeah, I straight yeah. up just gave him my, my whole extra system. I gave him a monitor too, and he, he was gaming on like a table with the monitor and no <laughs> monitor stand, because he uh -huh. didn't get one. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, I was like, well, I mean, at least he's using it to, to game and stuff. I go to the university right there. You, uh, you know Bothell? Yeah. Okay. So. What I'm, year are you? Uh, I'm a senior now. Okay, so, final year. Um, I have like maybe four more classes to take in the- Are you CS? Yeah, MCS. Okay. Um, so I, yeah, I entered it for computer science. Gotcha. Uh, should be fun. Um, you graduated, I'm assuming? Oh, pff. I graduated a long time ago. Uh, I went to UW, uh, Seattle. Yeah. I graduated back in 2011, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been out of college for over a decade, so. Well, I was just gonna say, you look, uh, you look younger than I guess you. A lot of yeah. people, yeah. yeah. A lot of people still think like I'm in college or like, maybe some people are like, in my YouTube videos are like, <laughs> How are you able to drive? I'm like, dude, I don't look that young. Oh my gosh. Uh, what's your YouTube? Uh, my YouTube channel is called Nerd on a Budget. So oh, this is up. actually gonna be a whole video. Just people like uh, watching me do like local pickups and stuff like that. Yeah. Just showing like the interactions like this that I have with uh, just people I buy from or sell to, you know, in the last two years with how bad prices were, I wasn't able to pick up as much as I wanted. Yeah. So uh, it's gonna be a great summer for like uh, building cheap builds and all that, so. Yeah. You ever give away to people like on your channel? I've done local giveaways where I would post to PC saying, hey, this is basically free. If yeah. anyone needs it, just message me and then I would try to find the best home for it based on all the messages. So yeah, so I, I try to do both. The benchmark finish, average FPS was, I'm just comparing it to what I saw for other 1070s, uh, 25 FPS basically. So that's as expected. So yeah, I think the card is fine. Um, so I, we're good to go. Cool. Did you have that 10 by yes, chance? All right, perfect. So, question for you. Yeah. Because I like you. Okay. Pretty cool. If I gave you a different card, as well as this one, okay. for, for free, would you give it away on your channel? I would definitely do that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want a free 1080? A free 1080? Just 
Just because I have another car and I'm, I was going to sell it, but you seem like a nice guy. Okay. So if you give me 160 for 10 bucks, I'll sell you the 1080. So you send me the 1080 for 10 bucks? Pretty much. Okay. I, just, I'm, I don't want to go through the hassle of selling it. It's kind of a pain. Okay. And I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, for sure. Give me that. So here's the I'll 1060. Right okay. Yeah. I'll keep your you gotta give it away. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, yep. Oh my goodness, another Founders Edition yeah, one. So, so I got this right before the pandemic. For yeah. 200 bucks. 200? 200 flat. And I was like, yeah, like right before the pandemic. So. You could have sold that during pandemic or probably double. <laughs> All right. So I, I was looking for the 1070s and there were some other ones like, but they were down in Seattle. Yeah. So a little bit further but they were like the EVJ ones, I think for the win as well as the super clock, yeah. but they, you know, two fan, uh, slightly better performance than these because of the factory the overclock as yeah. well and, and yeah. the better cooling performance. Yeah. But something about these Founders Edition cards I've always been keen on. Like, I love the design of it them. so good. So that's why I went with yours, even though it was the same price for the ones down in Seattle and the drive was a lot way better to come to Bothell. Um, that's true. This video, I'm trying to have it go out this Sunday, so. Yeah, we'll try to get uh, this into a good home. Yeah, I mean, good luck with that, man. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, have a, have a good rest of your week. Yep, you too. Take care. Well, uh, I was not expecting that. So we got the 1070 as well as the 1080 for that additional 10 bucks. I wonder if I came with exactly 150 bucks if he would have still given me this 1080. He probably would have. He was a really nice guy. So Griffin, thank you for these. Uh, but yeah, let's get home so we can wrap up this video and I can figure out how to do the giveaway for this 1080. So that was probably the most surprising outcome that could have resulted from this pickup. I would have never guessed that when I woke up this morning, I would end up with two graphics cards by the end of this deal with the one that I practically got for free being the better of the two. This 1070 you're gonna be seeing in a future build video uh, and this 1080 as I promised to the seller is gonna be given away right now. So if you are building your first ever system and could use this graphics card or if you have a lower end graphics card and this one could give you a huge performance uplift, let me know down in the comments below by using the hashtag HotNerdSummer. Do not ask for the card or mention anything about the giveaway in your comment or else it will be disqualified because I want people who generally watch through the whole video to have the best chances at winning. So leave a comment like you normally would, not relating to the giveaway or mentioning it at all, and then just end it with hashtag hot nerd summer so I know to include you in the giveaway drawing. This will be worldwide and I will leave the entry period open for two weeks from the release of this video. Once I pick a winner, I am going to require a Discord video call as I typically do to confirm that you're a real person and your intentions uh, for using the card and not just reselling it. Good luck to all entering uh, and yeah, we'll see who <laughs> ends up winning this. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video though. Hope you all enjoyed and found it either helpful or entertaining in one way or another. Let me know down in the comments below some of the good deals that you've picked up recently. I always love hearing about those. I wanna thank you all as always for watching and for continuing to support the channel. I wanna thank the channel members for their above and beyond support. And I wanna give a special thanks to Griffin for being a super cool dude and making this pickup way better than I could have asked for. Stay safe out there and I'll see you all down in the comments as well as in the next stream and or video. Bye.